Hey everybody and welcome to Detroit. We are here at Little Caesars Arena for the reveal of the brand new 2021 Chevy Tahoe and Chevy Suburban. Now these are all new. What? What? I just want to the ears are okay. You're here again? Get going dad. Dang dads. Anyways, I'm here for the reveal of the brand Tahoe and Suburban and I want to show you guys all the features on these SUVs but most importantly the brand new Z71 model. There's an off-road focused model in the lineup. This is CFL off-road. We got to talk about it. So I'm going to grab the camera. Now guys it is busy here so forgive the crowd but I'll get up here and get some clean shots of this Z71 for you. So there she is, right there. Nice red tow hook. The fascia you're looking at there is unique. Now, the approach angle here is gonna be the best you're gonna get out of any Tahoe available. And an exclusive fascia for better ground clearance and approach angle. Uh, you can also see, let's pull around here, look at that lift. So this Z71 model comes with over one inch of lift right from the factory, but there's another new feature here it is air suspension so now that the air suspension is available on this model you can lift it by up to two inches above stock ride height and that's what you're seeing right here this d71 model they have on the floor is fully lifted now we don't actually have ground clearance or approach angle specs just yet i can just tell you that it's going to be the most off-road the off-road worthy model in the lineup now take a look at those tires guys those are goodyear wrangler trail runner ats they are all terrains they're not the super aggressive duratrax that gm puts on a lot of its off-road vehicles but still more aggressive than what you're going to get out of your stock tahoe or durango these steps are also unique for the Z71 model, and I'll give you a close-up look. These are pretty cool. They just sort of have this uh, texture to them, makes them look a little beefy, almost makes them look like a rock face or something. That is pretty neat. Now, we'll get back to the interior in just a moment. Let me try to give you a rear-end shot right now. Those are LED lights, and this is one nice little feature, guys. Check out that little Chevy right there in the light. That's cool. And yes, LED tail lights, LED headlights, and those are standard on every single Tahoe and Suburban model, so you don't have to get a fancier model to get those LEDs. But guys, we have to talk engines. Let's get back up to the front, and I'll run them down for you. So there is a three-engine lineup on Tahoe and Suburban. So you're going to be able to get a 5.3-liter naturally aspirated V8. Now, that's the base engine. If you don't check an option box, you're going to get the 5.3. But you can also get that big beastly 6.2 liter V8 of course both naturally aspirated now that 5.3 it makes 355 horsepower 383 pound-feet of torque the 6.2 we're talking 420 horsepower 460 pound-feet of torque now I have to tell you some bad news everybody the diesel I just mentioned you can't get it with the Z71. Chevy has decided that all the off-roaders don't want diesel, so sadly, if you do want this thing to go off-road, well, don't expect a diesel engine. And just because I'm sure you want to know, the diesel makes 277 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. I think it would have been nice to be able to get that diesel off-roader, but, you know, Chevy decided that we didn't want it, or maybe it was a cooling issue, or maybe it was a weight issue. It's a whole bunch of different reasons why they might have made that decision. Now, around the back here, we have to talk more about the suspension. We do have the optional air suspension, but there's something else that every single Tahoe now has. Yes, what you are looking at there is independent rear suspension. So Chevy has ditched the solid log in the back, and now this thing is independent all the way around. Now, that's definitely going to help with ride quality not necessarily going to help with off-roading but you know definitely focusing more on being on road and making sure that all those passengers in the back are still comfortable now there's another thing that uh, that ditching the solid axle allowed Chevy to do and that was to lower the load floor so the load floor in this Tahoe is now about five inches lower which means the step-in height is also about five inches lower. And that means that for third row passengers, once you're back there, 
you're getting a pretty nice amount of leg room. And it's not just leg room, but because the floor is so much lower, you actually are able to put your legs lower down there. It's just a more comfortable seating position overall. Now, if you want to talk numbers, the uh, second row here, we're talking about 42 inches of leg room. That's three extra inches. The third row here, guys, now get ready for this. This is 10 inches of extra leg room. Yes, that's 10 more inches than the Tahoe had before in the third row. The Tahoe grew 4% in total length in return for a class leading cargo room. It now offers 30% more maximum cargo, 66% more cargo behind the third row, and 10, yes, 10 inches of more leg room in the rear seats. That is a, a pretty massive improvement, especially when you consider that the overall length of the vehicle only grew by 6.7 inches. So Chevy really focused on these rear seats. Now another neat little feature, yes, these seats in the second row can now slide forward and back. Oh, didn't want to slide there for me, got to lock it in. So you have five inches forward, five inches rearward. Once again, a pretty cool feature to be able to customize your leg. Let me talk to you a little bit about technology. What you're looking at right there, that's a 12.6 inch screen, and yes, there are two of them. So if you're in the rear seat of this thing, you're definitely going to be entertained, no doubt about that. For starters, you can plug in HDMI devices to stream um, video or audio or play video games. Or you can select and pay a uh, play a movie from a USB device. Once you've made your selection, you can send the content from one screen to the other so the person next to you can watch the same show or different content. And finally, the backseat passenger can access the in-dash navigation system where they have the ability to look up a destination and send it to the center display for turn-by-turn -turn direction. Now there is a total of five screens in this thing. So right there, you have your center stack screen over there. You have your instrument cluster screen, that's an eight inch screen. And then up top, you can kind of see the reflection there. There's a 15 inch head up display. The head up display is absolutely massive. And yes, that is class exclusive for the Tahoe. Now that screen right there, it's a 10 inch screen. That thing is standard on all Tahoe models. So even base models get it. And guys, here's another big change. Push button transmission. No more column shifter on these big SUVs. They've gone push button, which is uh, a pretty fancy little upgrade. Uh, I mean, personally, I think I like the column. I might miss the column a bit. Feels cool to put it in gear. Feels cooler than using a little push button. But, uh, you know, GM once again opted to go for the push button. Now, there's another thing I want you guys to notice. This whole center stack really doesn't share a lot with the Silverado or Sierra. This is basically a clean sheet interior design. And if you want my honest opinion, I think the SUVs are nicer than the pickup trucks. So we'll have to wait and see if the half tons adopt any of this new interior styling that Chevy has rolled out for its SUVs. I do think it certainly is a nice looking SUV. Now there's another technology story here that will help with off-roading and that is cameras. Nine different camera views that you can get when you're in your Tahoe or Suburban. Our passenger side door is open, that's why that's black right there. But you can see you get the front and the rear view. We can get a top-down rear view, a top-down front view. We get those side angles, which is pretty amazing. This is a hitching view, so if you have a hitch back there, you can line it right up on your trailer. And then once again, you have the two trailer uh, assist buttons here, which will offer trailer and guidelines. And when you're on the trail, it is always nice to be able to get different views to see, especially in front of your vehicle. This front end, it really changes the styling of this thing. And that's another aspect that Chevy definitely wanted. Now guys, that's it for this video. I want you to go below 
below now and let me know what do you think of this new Z71 Tahoe from Chevy. It's going to be built in Arlington, Texas and it'll be on sale by mid 2020 so you don't have to wait too long to get your hands on one. Now, like I said, go below, leave a comment, hit like, hit subscribe, and then come right back here to the channel for the latest news views and real world reviews. See ya.